The ETF is such a game changer and you only have to look at the gold chart to understand how much of a game changer the ETF is. We may see so much capital flood into the markets with the ETF that you might see, you know, a, uh, 150 plus thousand dollar Bitcoin within a matter of days because to, ma to maintain the equilibrium price of Bitcoin with the amount of daily purchasing coming in through the ETF, the price would need to would need to treble uh, or quadruple in order to maintain the equilibrium price, let alone any blow off tops. So, so I want to express some gratitude to uh, you know my entire audience for you guys who have been watching, who have been supporting. I want to say I'm extremely grateful for your support, you know, and I, I appreciate it, and I appreciate all of the people who are using any videos or any ideas that I put out as a inspiration board to create more videos. I don't care. As I've, you've seen, I've done a video that basically said, take my ideas, take my thoughts, whatever you want to do, because as long as we get the message out there, that's what's actually important. So here's what I think is going to happen in this next cycle. My price prediction for this next cycle is working uh, based on a couple different metrics. Number one, in the last cycle, it was rumored that, or not rumored, researched that um, around 40 to $50 billion came into the entire crypto space in the last cycle. Since then, what have we had? We've had the crypto space be ripped apart by the SEC. We've had more awareness around Bitcoin. We've had CNBC talking about Bitcoin every single day. We've got BlackRock filing for an ETF. We've got asset managers with $17.7 .7 trillion under management filing for Bitcoin products. We've got other banks who don't have filings for Bitcoin's products out there basically talking about how great Bitcoin is. We've got asset allocators talking about how much money is going to come into the Bitcoin space. Um, and so, yeah, all of this is happened since the last cycle. So my thoughts are, are built on the fundamental analysis of the multiplier effect uh, on the amount of capital coming in. And for that, even though the multiplier effect ranges, I've decided in my, in my perspective to utilize the Bank of America number. The Bank of America number is 118. For every dollar that goes into the market for, for Bitcoin, the price goes up by 100, the overall market cap goes up by $118. If you haven't watched any of my videos on that, I highly recommend you go and do that because then you'll understand what I'm actually talking about. So based on that, I assume that we will see a $50 billion being injected into Bitcoin over the next cycle. What does that mean? I'm estimating this cycle is going to last, this bull run cycle is going to last until December of 2025. So between now and December of 2025, I assume that we will be getting $50 billion injected. What does that mean? It means that the money that went into crypto last time will come into Bitcoin this time. It means that more capital will be coming in. It will make up the difference of any money that still tries to go into crypto. But $50 billion is my prediction that will be injected into Bitcoin in this next cycle. Um, at 118, a 1 to 118 multiplier, we see a $5.9 trillion market cap for Bitcoin. And that means a per Bitcoin price, take 5.9 trillion divided by 21 million, and you get a per Bitcoin price of $280,000 as a peak. That is my personal Bitcoin price prediction for up between now and December of 2025. Some of you are going to say this is bearish. Some of you are going to say you're disappointed. Some of you are going to say, oh my God, he's too bullish. I know all of this is going to happen, but again, understand how I'm pricing this. I'm pricing this based on $50 billion coming into the market in the next uh, cycle up until December of 2025. The second, an ETF is starting trading. This price prediction is irrelevant. Now saying this, I do want to point out, a lot of people like to clown it, but uh, Plan B's stock to flow model, the, uh, the first original stock to flow model, the one that made me realize, holy shit, I've not understood Bitcoin. I didn't understand what Bitcoin was until I saw this thing, which I believe has been accurate 
right? It's a model, it's a thesis, but it's been accurate. His first ever model had a cycle price of 49 to 55, uh, 49 to 50,000, or well, let's say $52,000 for this past cycle. Guess where we hit? We hit 69. It went above and now it came back. Yeah, we didn't have the blow off top like we had in 2017. We can argue why that happened. You got FTX, you got Binance, uh, um, and uh, all these other people fooling around in the markets. GBTC with the discount window and that trade that was happening, the arbitrage trade. There's a lot of reasons why it didn't happen. But we have seen this model hold pretty accurate and pretty tight. Yes, it went lower than expected in the in the in the bear market, but it is what it is. It is still tracking pretty accurately for a model, right? And for a thesis. So that is correct. Now, for the next cycle, that model actually predicts uh, a model price of $450,000. So I want you to understand my price of 280,000 is without an ETF involved. As soon as an ETF gets launched, here's what I think will happen. There is 456 trading days between January of 2024 and Q4 of 2025. With the ETF, I predict another $50 billion will come into the market. So we have $100 billion multiplied by 118, right? That gives you $11.8 trillion. You take $11.8 trillion and you divide it by 21 million and it gives you a market price of $561,000 per Bitcoin. Why do I think $50 billion could come in? Because this is, and why do I think it would be extra? Because this is capital that hasn't had access to Bitcoin yet. This is the first time it's going to have access to Bitcoin. That is what I'm thinking. Again, that $280,000 price target becomes completely irrelevant the day the ETF starts trading. At that point, I want you to forget I even said it and focus on the 450, which is Plan B stock to flow model to $561,000 per coin as a peak. This is all subject to 50 billion. Again, I'm not just, I'm not, I don't, I'm not a chart reader. I'm not gonna read charts to tell you this is what's gonna happen. I'm basing this on how much capital I think can come into the market based on the ETF and based on what happened last time. What happened last time from retail, I think we'll see $50 billion come in from retail uh, and private asset managers that can get exposure to Bitcoin. And I think we'll see another $50 billion come in from the ETF, which will take us to that uh, somewhere between 450 and 561,000 as soon as the ETF is approved. If the ETF is not approved, my price target is uh, you know, at least $280,000. Um, but again, every price prediction is wrong. Every price prediction is uh, right. Uh, these are all just thinking, uh, you know, how we're just all thinking about how capital is going to flow and come into the market. I don't read charts. I don't do any of that. I'm basing this strictly on the capital flow that I saw last time into the market, the multiplier effect and what's going on with Bitcoin. And by the way, we could get half the amount of capital come in. If the multiplier effect goes up by twice, then it doesn't matter. We still get the same result. So I'm basing this on the market dynamics and the supply and demand dynamics of Bitcoin. There is nothing here that is magical thinking. You can work it out for yourself. Just go 50 billion in, multiplied by 118, equals $5.9 trillion market cap, divided by 21 million gives you a $280,000 price target. Now, whether we can agree or not that $50 billion will come into the market is another story. We can argue about that. But that is my price target, and I want you to focus on getting yourself, because that's the only thing that matters. I don't care whether I believe a $280,000 minimum Bitcoin price for the next cycle and the day an ETF starts trading, that's irrelevant, and we go from 450 to 561. I don't care whether that's relevant or not. 
it's irrelevant for you. This is my price target and we can debate it and we can talk about it and we can mentally masturbate about it. But the only thing that actually matters is you getting to your one Bitcoin and allocating a position because the capital is about to start flowing. The interest rates are about to start loosening up. More capital is about to start pumping into the market because you're walking into an election year. You're dealing with a situation where we've had the tightest rates uh, in, in, in probably most people's lifetimes at this point with the rate tightening that's happened. It's way past Volcker's rate tightening and that's got to loosen up because there's also $8 trillion of debt to refinance and they will not be refinancing that at these high levels of interest rates. So the interest rates are about to come down. Capital is about to start flowing. You've got the ETF about to get approved. Bitcoin's more of a mainstay, mainstay asset and you're worried about price prediction videos. This should be absolutely irrelevant to you. The first thing you should be focused on is actually securing the hardest, most secure asset humanity has ever seen that is about to be, you know, the cage of wolves, the institutional wolves are about to be unleashed upon. That's what you should be focused on, not this, because ultimately there are still only three rules to Bitcoin. Step number one, you buy Bitcoin. Step number two, shut the fuck up. And step number three, you get fabulously wealthy.